Okay, uh, I have shared my screen. Uh, is it visible to you, sir? Okay. Yeah, 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 visible. Thank you. Okay, first of all, let me tell you about Netrix. Netrix is a network auditor. Uh, okay, if I talk about network, uh, it talks about uh, everything like uh, it can be your uh, Active Directory or yeah. file servers or network devices or you can say storage netapp or kind of and office 365 online exchange kind of okay so it gives you okay, okay. a log okay only uh, gives you logs right let's suppose okay. if you want to audit your active directory in that case you will be getting logs like how many inactive accounts are there and uh, how many uh, user accounts are there which have been grant permissions you know full access yeah, yeah, yeah. accounts or uh, kind of or other meeting uh, you can say uh, drawbacks of your active directory each and everything you will be getting by uh, consolidate reports kind of things uh, by dashboard or by reports you'll be getting after getting all the loopholes or all the um, uh, flaws uh, you have to manually uh, remediate those things right yeah right, right, right. Uh, uh, see uh, before jumping to uh, portal uh, let me please tell you uh, about uh, okay uh, it's a part of uh, data classroom let it let's leave it so uh, i just want to you know you can say get to know about your infrastructure or what exactly you are looking for kind of can please brief something about uh, your company what exactly uh, or your concerns so that i will you know directly uh, jump uh, our, to those features so our company is a company mm -hmm. so Almost uh, there is issue in uh, uh, like one day like thinking issue is there. Uh, Sometime the storage is full. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, it is also there. We uh, doing server mm -hmm. user adding and all that. So mm -hmm. we want one uh, like <laughs> one portal which uh, which will handle all the things. All right. Uh, like how many users yeah. you are having, how 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 many user, users are disabled, inactive, active kind of. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, I got. Uh, uh, let's jump to Netrix Auditor Portal. It's uh, just a uh, application based uh, software, or you don't have uh, much uh, resource requirement to deploy it. Okay. In a minimum okay. to minimum hardware, you can uh, deploy this one. Like uh, I have uh, installed it on that particular system with 4 GB RAM, or you can say 200 GB hard drives. Okay, uh, okay. I have installed. Or uh, for that, you need uh, uh, configure SQL Server with it to process yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of things, right? Okay, let me tell you yeah. about Netrix Auditor. It's a 10.0 new versions. Uh, okay. Here you'll be getting like. Uh, reports of uh, behavior analyze I will be showing you each and everything and if you want to create monitoring plans or uh, if you want to search anything it's, it's a kind of uh, dashboard you will be getting monitoring plans overview of how many monitoring plans are ready and uh, pay attention take actions or activity records kind of or favorite reports or risk assessment compliance mapping or uh, so so on a uh, health status if you want if it is okay it means everything is going on otherwise you'll be getting some means, uh, hello hello sir yes, uh, please. there is written as a compliance compliance means uh, <laughs> if system getting any uh, updates and already it will be uh, no, no, uh, given there only no? compliance means uh, see sometimes what happens uh, auditors ask for uh, any you know audit or compliance they have some policies kind of things what uh, yeah. see, it fulfills all the policies uh, it means I will show you no worry okay. it, uh, yeah, how exactly yeah. okay, it works okay. uh, with the uh, compliance how it is mapped with compliance it fulfill all the things uh, okay. like uh, HIPAA um, GDPR PCI DSS kind of right okay, okay, okay. yeah uh, let me jump to uh, here from start this is a monitoring plan okay where you can monitor all the things like if you want to monitor or uh, want to edit active directory or okay. if you want to audit azure ad file servers exchange exchange online sharepoint sharepoint online okay. oracle database sql server windows server group policy vmware network devices okay and adfs logon activities user activity and network api 
such kind of you know modules you can audit based on your okay. requirements okay let's let's take example for active directory if you want to audit your active directory you have to simply click here yeah. okay next or uh, have to put credential here and you don't need to install any agent on uh, server end i mean to say under domain controller directly it will uh, you know communicate with that ad and will fetch you all the reports like uh, drawbacks and flaws right Okay. And after that, that particular plan will be add here. Let's uh, take an example for my infrastructure. Here I have created this one, my AD. It's ready in states. Here you will be getting. If you will be click, uh, you will click here. You will be getting all the reports. It is just a small part. Apart from that, there are lots of uh, reports you will be getting, right? Like yeah. uh, you have removed or you can say deleted any users. Here you will be getting uh, reports like this okay activity records detail object type user data source from where Acti from active directory we have deleted something monitoring plan was that item this access removed in it means uh, we have deleted something right what this such in user i have deleted right and yeah, where yeah. from this when and workstation and other information kind of okay this was part of a uh, monitoring plan uh, based on your requirements what exactly you want to audit okay uh, right now i am talking about ad and then we'll talk about file server or what kind of feature you will be getting everything i'll be showing you just keep patience just wait please okay next it's, it's part of uh, monitoring plans which you want to add next i'm jumping to search activity records where you will be you know searching each and everything based on your requirements there are you can say lots of filters you can use them okay if you will be going okay. here here you, you will see which data source you want to you know check here right now it is showing for file servers uh, records here you can see one file it's been read it here or if there is any file deleted it will let you know like uh, something has been removed let me show you okay based on uh, filtration you can uh, check each and every information from on this part from uh, search box and next is reports where you will be getting reports like uh, if i talk about uh, active directory uh, let me jump to active directory here yeah this is here you can see active directory overview all active directory changes all active directory changes by domain controller, all active directory changes by groups, all active directory changes by object type, change by users, change with the review status, active directory configurations container changes, active directory schema container changes. There are many many more reports you can see here if I scroll it down. Yeah. Uh, active directory yeah. schema container changes. Actually right now I have dummy portal so I would not be able to show you all the features here actually okay. i have a single domain uh, right now and active directory site changes administrative group membership changes computer account changes contact object changes domain controller changes kind of reports you'll be getting domain trust changes object security changes and many more here operation master role changes organization unit changes password reset by administrator security group changes security group membership changes service pack installation user account changes and user account changes user password changes and some other reports where you will be getting like account permissions in active directory object permissions in active directory active directory account permissions details and group members empty security groups and computer accounts and many most like if I talk about user accounts if you will click here you will be getting reports like this <laughs> ok 
okay here you can see user accounts total en enabled account 9 total disabled 6 and overall 15 accounts are there where you can see path name logon name status and last logon all right and right. after that user account expired if if is there any expired user accounts you'll be getting like this let me show you oh not expired that's why i'm not able to show you and user account logged password never expired if there is any yeah there are some accounts which has password never expires how many accounts are there yeah path and status and some are disabled from password never expire and some are enabled and in the same manner other reports you will be getting like password not required how many user accounts are there which having password not requires which is you know very big uh, security concern it's for uh, hackers or attackers you can say right there is one uh, yeah, yeah. account which is uh, which having password not required kind of kind of okay so such kind of things we are getting here all the flaws all the drawbacks we are getting after that after knowing those things so we can remediate manually all the things right and in the same manner other things yeah you will be getting here okay and if i uh, talk about uh, file server reports what kind of reports you are getting in file server let me show you all files are activity all files are activity by action type all files are activity by server all files are activity by user field change attempts field delete attempts field read attempts file server changes file server changes by action file server changes by server file server changes by user file server file and folder created if i click here or oh, file and folder created mm -hmm. let me check is there any have been created there or not oh still not means uh, we can we can give the access to the user also no no no, no, no. you cannot give your access to users it will no. part of uh, admin only okay, okay. Uh, wh why you want to give uh, access to users for that no no uh, what happened in server we are creating some folder hmm? like <laughs> like there are uh like two companies there. like okay one is, you uh, are saying uh for a file ser file server right yeah 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 obviously yeah, yeah, it's yeah. up to you this is your uh, it department whatever you want uh, you can give our solution will only let you know about logs what's going on with that particular file server it's up to you either you give it permissions or not it will let you know okay. all the informations what end users are doing with that particular file server exactly right yeah yeah, because uh, what happened, uh, uh, they, they want any particular user only, only mm. uh, this user can uh, access this file and folder all that. Yes, he can copy, he can delete, he can, yeah, uh, yeah. full permissions you can say, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. you can give, you can give, but in that case, you will be having all logs. If let's suppose that particular uh, person try to delete anything which is uh, very sensitive for you guys, okay? So that particular log you will be getting who deleted when deleted from which server he tried to access that particular file server everything you will be getting if you try to rename this move this delete this copy this read this everything like here you can see action added object type folder what mm. and who and when where workstation okay. process session id if i talk about added folder uh, some folder has been added here under uh, my file server 44 under data one test folder has been created and who IP infotech administrator whatever is there and when this it makes sense uh, let's suppose that particular system I am using Kailas using Kailas has <coughs> made changes with that uh, file server he created one folder under data folder alright does it make sense right, right. yeah right 
yeah such kind of if if anybody he trying to you know delete anything see here you can see file created or oh. file created folder created if either it is folder or file everything you will be getting informations who created who deleted what created what deleted in a same manner you will be getting other thing file and folder deleted if there is any you know deleted records by someone you will be getting here let me show you let me show you oh, oh, previous quarter <laughs> here you can see something has been deleted accent removed <coughs> in the it means it's been deleted file or folder from this server data desktop file local resolver sealed it's been deleted happy import administrator yeah and one file has been deleted copy doc txt komodo in the same manner you will be getting each and everything here okay and file and folder moved renamed file copied and most folder changes used most used file types what kind of you can see here exe types okay. and uh, successful file reads share changes and many many more reports here you will be getting like account permission duplicate files if there are any duplicate files under that particular file server you will be getting here those are duplicate files you can delete them by going to that locations manually right like object path and modified that here you can delete them or uh, empty folders if there are any empty folders with that particular folders with uh, for, uh, file servers with where uh, uh, do not having any files you can get there is one empty folder which don't have any files and anything exe file or any kind of or some other you can say features like excessive access permissions folder and file permissions detail folder permissions folder tree view if you want to see folder tree view or largest file under your file server everything you will be getting by netrix auditor here you can see how folder structure is that there how many file are under uh, any particular folders here you can check it out folder path folder owner file and size it's a part of uh, reports and next is uh, VAB <coughs> anomalies uh, which means all the internal <coughs> breaches will be shown here internal breaches in the sense uh, let's take an example of that okay I pin protect administrator I used to log in lots of time this particular account for uh, you know giving demo purpose that's why it is showing uh, it means uh, any any actions which uh, happening almost time so all the things will be you know come under internal breach like if any uh, end user trying to you can say put password on some different users machine again and again he's uh, hitting on password trying to guess his password to log in on his systems to misuse his system or kind of so in that case that particular information will be shown here someone trying to you know putting password again again uh, kind of okay it's just a kind of internal breeze those kind of things will be shown here if let's suppose any uh, end user trying to uh, open any file under file servers many times and again and again so okay. such kind of reports will be what is there in that particular file why he's trying to use that file again 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 and again or kind of things will be come under behavior and analyze right okay. and uh, next is uh, part of monitoring plans it's okay subscription you can create it for alerting or there is alert options you can get all the things what kind of reports you want on mail or kind of risk assessment uh, it's part of risk assessment of uh, your infrastructure right now I have added here uh, my AD or file server uh, for few, fe few features like user account with password never expired if you will click here it's showing current value is 9 and risk value you can 
customize it based on let's suppose if you take it as a medium or low you can keep it as a medium or low for me it is uh, high that's why I kept it as a high or if you will click here under 9 you will be redirected to those uh, user accounts which are password never expires here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 those user account having user you know password never expire kind of and uh, in a same manner there are uh, some other informations like disabled computer accounts and inactive user account uh, if you will click here it will redirect you to those informations like how many accounts which are inactive which is again a very big concern of uh, security breach or you know kind of things here you can see those accounts are inactive uh, you have to take care of them either you delete them or you use them it should not be inactive on your domain controller if th th those accounts are inactive or they are having uh, you can say full permissions so any attackers or you can say hacker can use those uh, such kind of uh, accounts to you know hack your infrastructure hack your anything right 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 and inactive computer accounts or server with kind of see there are many more things so you can customize it you can subscribe you can create you know, some other alerts to user account with admin permissions there are how many user accounts which having ad admin uh, permissions this is also you know again big security concerns which can breach your infrastructure here you can see those uh, accounts having you know administrative privileges which should not be all right member part right, type right. or status and apart from that there are many many more things administrative group and empty security groups or other things okay potential harmful files on file server file and folder name containing sensitive data kind of or uh, you can create uh, you know based on your requirements which alerts you want to create from here if you want to add new alerts our backend team can help you to create kind of alerts and uh, about uh, compliance mapping let me show you compliance mapping here let me jump to netrix auditor mm -hmm, this way So I had downloaded one compliance here. Just let me check if it is there. Let's check it. GDPR compliance audit checklist. Okay, for Netflix, how it uh, you can say <coughs> compiled with it. Let let me show you just wait please. This is not that. <coughs> okay, just wait. Here you can see solutions. Here you can see compliance. If I, you know, talk about ISO. Or GDPR. Let me check with GDPR first. GDPR mapping.
here you can see uh, implement and controls active directory is in time reports user behavior and a blind is export analysis reports log on by single user from multiple endpoints in in this you know compliance mapping you are getting reports like who CRD documents interactive search see there is you will be getting uh, many more things there active directory log on activity reports which asked by your you know audit and compliance team they want to you know check log on activity reports on your environment uh, they want to check reports for active directory federation services and and many more things okay you'll be getting here how it is you know complying your compliance or kind of account policy changes password policy changes gpu link changes account policies and many more things right user account status changes compliance mapping part uh, you'll be getting here right yeah yeah see user account status changes recently enabled accounts temporary user accounts which i shown you under dashboard all the things account enabled disabled account deleted security changes on windows servers there will be lots of things which you know fulfill your compliance right okay yeah that is part of compliance and after that there are some other uh, settings you can see healthy status by clicking here or if i go to settings other things will be there you can uh, you know configure your database with netrix portal kind of and licensing part each right. things will be there yeah that's all about it right now please let me know how was it uh, good sir sir i want to ask one thing sir about that mm -hmm. uh, um, Please tell. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have uh, that uh, option like uh, HRA incident, all that. Which one? Which one? Sorry, come again. Uh, ticketing like. Ticketing for uh, your end users. Yeah, 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 yeah. It it's an audit tool only. It giving you audit. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. If okay. you want to such kind of uh, tools, we have uh, different tools which call uh, Komodo Endpoint Protection, so where you will be getting all the cyber security features apart from okay. antivirus, uh, patch management, vulnerability management, asset management, service desk, okay. right now which you are talking about, and many more things. If you have time, I can uh, let you know about uh, this uh, either today or next week. Uh, let me know first of all uh, we need to discuss about netflix then uh